اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session we looked at a few basic concepts the concepts were factor loading beta coefficient and reliability In this session we are going to look into the concept of construct validity Now all these concepts that we looked into in the last session and this session and a few coming sessions are part of the measurement model assessment Now if you would like to know more about measurement model assessment there is a video in the description that can help you understand the difference between measurement model assessment and structural model assessment and how both of them are linked to structural equation modeling Validity means accuracy The term that can sum the concept of validity is accuracy How accurately the items constructs are being measured is the construct measuring what you intend it to measure now is the construct measuring what it was intended to measure in order to do this statistically you will have to establish statistical validity that is construct validity now content validity face validity that is done through existing research or experts construct validity now there are two forms of construct validity the first one is convergent validity and it is established through average variance extracted how much variance is extracted by the latent construct based on the indicators the items are converging or coming together to represent the underlying construct because those 4 5 6 7 items are measuring the same latent variable now in order to establish convergent validity those items shall come together to represent to measure that underlying construct and convergent validity is established if your ave is greater than 0.50 the average variance extracted is greater than 0.50 Now where is this AVE? How to calculate this AVE? How to report this AVE? We are going to talk about this in greater detail in coming lectures. For now, the takeaway from these slides is that construct validity is established using convergent validity and there is another form of validity as well. To establish convergent validity, you need AVE. And Smart PLS will give you that value. Calculate it. and if the ave value is greater than 0.50 this means that yes your items are converging coming together to represent the underlying construct and there is convergent validity the other form of validity is discriminant validity now since we've got multiple constructs in this study there is a need to establish discriminant validity because it helps you establish the distinctiveness of constructs whether or not the constructs in your study have got their own individual identity so in order to establish the differentiation between the constructs in your study you will have to establish discriminant validity how do we establish discriminant validity there are three methods von der lacke criterion heterotrait monotrait ratio and cross loadings all these are provided by smart pls you do not have to calculate any one of them How do we establish discriminant validity using these three methods? We are going to look into in greater detail in coming videos. In the next session, I am going to look into how to establish convergent validity using Smart PLS. Thank you very much.